In this video, I'm going to show you what's new in Reaper 7. So another great feature that's been added to Reaper 7 is mouse overrides. One of the things you'll notice in Reaper 7 is over here in the toolbar, there's two new toolbar buttons, this one and this one. But let's go over how editing works in Reaper. By default, if we left drag in the range window like this, it creates a time selection. Or if we left drag over an item, it grabs the item and moves it to the right, to the left, or down or up. But to edit in different ways, we need to use right drag. So if I right drag over here, it's going to lasso or marquee select multiple items. So if I let go, it selects those items. Do it again, right drag to select all these items. And then it selects all those items we lassoed or marquee selected. And if we hold down a modifier, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and right drag, it creates a razor edit like this. Or we can move just the items in this area like this, or delete them, or cut them and paste them based on the area we selected. But both of those behaviors rely on right dragging. And if you're using a system that makes right dragging harder, maybe a trackpad or a mouse without a right button, it could be harder to edit this way. That's why they added these two new buttons. So if I select the first one, notice the toolbar button is animated, letting us know that function is on. So if we go over here and left drag, now it's gonna lasso or marquee select our items just like right dragging did. If we hit the button again, it turns off that function. So now we can create time selections. We'll grab our items, left or right, up or down, to get back that behavior. If we hit this button for razor editing, it's gonna do the same thing with left dragging. We could left drag to create a razor edit like this. And now we get razor edit functionality. We could drag this around. We could delete it or cut and paste it using razor editing. And I should also mention, if we go to the preferences, control P on the PC, command comma on the Mac, and we scroll down to mouse modifiers, under arrange view and right drag, these are the behaviors of right dragging. Marquee selecting our items or razor editing with the modifier. If we wanna swap that behavior, we can hit this button right here and it changes it so right dragging by default creates a razor edit. We're holding down the modifier, lassos, or creates a marquee select behavior. But by default, it works like this. But again, we could bypass that right drag behavior using these buttons. The first one to lasso or marquee select our items, or the second one to razor edit our items using left drag. And we could turn them off right here to go back to creating a time selection with left drag or moving our items to the left or right or up and down like this. And that's the benefit of these two new buttons. If you don't like to work with right drag, we could do it all with left drag. But we could also assign keyboard shortcuts to these buttons. If we go to the actions menu, show action list, Type into the filter mouse override, and right over here are the actions to override the mouse behaviors, which is basically what we're doing. Now you'll notice there's four of them, A, B, C, and D. Even though there's only two buttons over here, these buttons are for the mouse override A and B, but there's also a C and a D. And to see these, let's go back to our preferences, under mouse modifiers and arrange view, and right drag, these are the behaviors for the arrange view. But now we have arrange view override A, B, C, and D. And the buttons we just used are for A and B, which we could see all the behaviors in this window, which we could change to customize them for ourselves. As you can see, A is for marquee selecting, and B is for razor editing. But we also have C, which is used for fixed lane comping and D, 
which is completely empty, which we can change to any action or behavior we prefer. But all of these can be changed. Override A through D. To be any behavior by default, or hold down modifiers we want. But let's go back to the actions right over here, where we can hit a keyboard shortcut to change them without hitting the toolbar button. So you can toggle them right here to hit a keyboard shortcut for the first two, A and B. And now you use a keyboard shortcut to trigger this behavior. Hit the first one, it turns it on. So now we can marquee select our items or lasso them to select them. Hit it again to turn the behavior off. Hit the second keyboard shortcut to turn on razor editing like this. Hit it again to turn it off. And we could also do this temporarily based on one move at a time. Let's go back to the actions. And instead of adding it over here, we could add them over here up until the next mouse up. So let's change the keyboard shortcuts to use these instead. And now if we hit the keyboard shortcut, it turns on this behavior, but if we use it, like this, and then mouse up, and then it turns off that function, which you can see over here, it's turned off. So now we're back to creating time selections. We're moving our items left or right, up and down, back to the standard behavior. So it only works one time. Turn it on. We can see it on up here. Perform an action by selecting these items, and then it's turned off. So I can move our items. We'll create time selections back to the normal behavior. We can do the same with razor editing. Turn it on with the keyboard shortcut. It turns on over here. Create a razor edit, let go, and that behavior is turned off. We're back to creating a time selection like this, moving our items left to right, up and down, back to the normal behavior. And if you want these buttons to work the same way temporarily, just right click, customize toolbar, and change the actions for these two options. Change this action. So instead of triggering this one, we could have it trigger this one. And do the same with this one. Right click, change action. Instead of toggling to mouse override B, we could have it temporarily change it right here. And now if we turn it on on the toolbar button, we could use that behavior, let go, and it turns off that behavior. So we're back to creating time selections. We're moving our items left and right, up and down with the normal behavior. And do the same with razor editing. We could turn it on, create a razor edit, and as soon as we let go, it turns off that behavior. And we're back to creating a time selection. We're moving our items left and right, up and down as we like. So that's a new feature in Reaper 7 for mouse overrides. It's a great addition to Reaper if you don't prefer to use the right drag behavior for marquee selecting our items or creating razor edits. We can just do it with these buttons, either by clicking them and performing those functions or using a keyboard shortcut you set up to lasso or marquee select our items, or razor edit our sections, while using left drag instead of right drag. So that's pretty much it. That's what's new in Reaper 7. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.